Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we're going to learn how to execute Apex actions in Flows. Flow Builder comes with a lot of functionality, but sometimes your flow needs to do more than the default elements allow. In that case, call an Apex class from your flow by using an Apex action. Apex classes are available as Apex actions only if one of the methods is annotated with at invocable method. First, we need to create an Apex class as demonstrated. This Apex class simply gets the account names by searching with input account IDs. Here, we have created a public class that includes the invoked method with the at invocable method annotation. This is supported for global classes as well. The label attribute defines the display name of the Apex action. Please note that invocable method can only have one parameter. In order to define multiple elements, you can use custom type in both input and output parameters. For demonstration purposes, we have not used the use case for doing so. For more information about the at invocable variable annotation, please refer to this developer documentation. We've put this link in the short description of this video for you. Now let's review how to create an Apex action. To begin, we'll navigate to the Manager section, click the New Resource button, and select Resource Type as Variable. Then choose Data Type Text. Since we have already created account record IDs, we will click Cancel here. We will also need another text variable, so we could create one now or select New Resource later. We have used a simple get element to get the account records and store the ID in a variable, account record IDs. Please note that we have selected in separate variables. However, based on your use case, you could also select the together in a record variable in the previous element name. Then, get one or more field values in the record lookup present in the section Select Variable to store account. Once done, we could access the field values in our action by using Get Account Record Field Name. Then, go to the Elements section and drag and drop an action. A new palette opens. Scroll to the bottom and click Uncategorized. As we review the dropdown, note we could see a list of all actions. Select Get Account Names, since that is what we're going to use in our flow. Once done, please note the action name, Get Account Names, is the same as the one we provided in the label section in our Apex class. In addition, the input shows IDs that we had passed as list of string in our class, so we will go ahead and include this. Now we would get the option to select our variable account record IDs. As we see here, we may choose to store output values by selecting Advanced Section. In this section, we could either refer an existing resource as var text or create a new variable resource. Click Done and Save. We would select Debug to review our results. However, you could also create a button and review the results of the flow. Once we click Debug and Run, we would see that IDs show the account ID successfully, and the output successfully shows the account name. We have successfully invoked Apex from Flow using Apex Action. A key point to note here is if a Flow invokes Apex, the running user must have the corresponding Apex class security set in their user profile or permission set. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.